Hey what's up guys, my name is Kev5 and welcome to a new plugin tutorial on the plugin Townie. Today we're going to be showing how to install the plugin and configure it with Essentials Chat formatting to add Townie town tags to your Essentials Chat formatting. Now to do this you simply need to go to the Townie Advanced website where you're going to download the latest build of Townie. Now there is a 1.11.2 build that is released, however it is a dev build. I recommend downloading the most stable build, which is the 1.10.2 build. It will work on 1.11.2 without any issues. So we're going to allow that to fully download. And then you're going to want to log into your server's FTP. And you're going to want to click your plugins folder. That is where we will be uploading Townie. So we're going to drag and drop this .zip file we just downloaded into our upload section and allow it to fully upload. Now we can select the .zip file and hit unzip. This will unzip all of the Townie plugins including Townie, Townie Chat, and two additional plugins that come with Townie which are very useful with the plugin. Now what we're going to need to do is actually restart the server for Townie to fully take effect so we'll be right back. Now that Townie is finally loaded on the server we can finally start to edit the plugin. Before we edit it, I just want to say that you don't really need to set up permissions for this plugin. Uh, most of it is just like Factions, where it'll give your players the default permissions. So it's, it's really great. Now we're going to go into the Townie Settings Chat Config folder, where we will be able to edit the chat formatting for Townie. We need to set it up so it works with Essentials Chat Formatting. And to do that, all you simply need to do is... Uh, copy this line here which I will place in the description and you want to paste it into your global your town your nation and your default so that way it completely takes over the townie chat formatting and this will allow townie chat to work with essentials chat to add town prefixes to your chat formatting so we're going to go ahead and save now and once again we need to restart the server and we'll be right back now that everything is loaded up, we can go ahead and go on the server. Whenever we first log in, we will not be part of a town. That is how Townie is. So if we did hi, it's just going to show our prefix and username. Now let's go ahead and create a town. It's slash T, new, and then the town name. So let's go ahead and do YouTube because we just have to. And now the town will be created. And if we type hi, you're going to be able to see that YouTube uh, tag in chat. You're going to see YouTube, the prefix for your group, and then your username, along with your message. We can also edit a lot of other things in Townie, so let's go ahead and go back into the files. You actually can edit the config.yml, it's in the same exact folder as the chat config.yml. Within this file, you can actually edit how many plots players can claim, and how many town chunks players can claim. You can also set the price of a town. You can set up taxes, whether you want to make it uh, public for people to be able to do slash town spawn. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can change. You can even disable like explosions and stuff, which is really cool. Uh, one setting that a lot of people have a lot of issues with is uh, many people want it so whenever the wilderness is damaged, it doesn't revert. That is due to this setting, revert on unclaimed. You'd simply set this to false and this to false. And then that will make it so whenever someone unclaims a town, the blocks won't revert back. And if the wilderness gets damaged by an explosion, it will revert back to normal. So guys, I hope you enjoy this. That's really the gist of Townie. It's a really simple plugin. The rest of the plugin really is, is just simply using the commands and building a player base. Players can create towns now, uh, depending on the cost you set in the config.yml. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this. It's been a long time since I've done a plugin tutorial, and I really wanted to help some people out because people have been requesting one. So as always, guys, thank you for watching, and have a great day.